decided to uh, suit it up and play against him. And, and I know Ben, uh, you know, makes that barefoot stroll on Sunday in the snow. And I, th I think I saw the pictures you were with standing next to him. Did you think he was crazy doing that? And does he try to convince you to do something similar? Oh, well, yeah, he is crazy for doing that. Uh, uh, you know, just to charge out there barefoot in the snow before a NFL football game on Sunday night football at nighttime. But uh, no, he didn't try to get me to do it and I, I didn't want to do it. Uh, but I did want to go out there and watch him do it because uh, I think it's a cool tradition. And it's cool to see him like <laughs> rain, snow, whatever it is, uh, he's going he's gonna to do it. And uh, that's something that's important to him. He says a little prayer out there in midfield before the game. And uh, it was cool to see that. Uh, Buck. What's going on, David? Uh, pass protection on Sunday for the first time, it felt like it was a, a, played a bigger role and why you guys struggled offensively the way that you did. did. Did you feel like there was anything different about that game for you guys as a unit? And, and what kind of adjustments uh, do you have to make now going up against uh, the Texans? Uh, you know, I think we're always looking to improve in all, all areas, especially pass protection and run and play pass, all that stuff. But, you know, we're, we're constantly, you know, trying to attack our weaknesses and growth mindset, you know, get, get better. Uh, and this Sunday is no different. You know, we wanna we wanna be dialed in in, in every phase of our game. And pass protection is definitely something we're gonna be attacking this week. Uh, Corey, hey David, I know you don't play this game for division titles, but it's a chance to hand Amy her first since taking over. Is is there any meaning for that for that crown other than the home playoff game? Absolutely. Um, you know, the, the division title might not be the end goal, but winning the division title is, is definitely a goal. Um, and so it, it, it's it's a big game for us. It's something, it's a challenge for us. It's something we're looking forward to. These guys have a, uh, you know, they have a good defense. And uh, we, we, we really are excited to get down there and uh, you know, execute our, execute our, our plan. And how much experience do you have with JJ and how much do you expect to see him across from you? Uh, well, we're ready for him wherever he lines up. You know, he lines up in a lot of different places. Uh, it's kind of what we're, uh, what, we're, what, we're, what we're looking at right now, trying to get a feel for it. And I remember playing JJ, you know, in Houston. I remember playing JJ, you know, in college. And so I'm really looking forward to uh, playing him now at, uh, John, go ahead. Hey, David, um, with uh, respect to some of your uh, your veteran uh, teammates on the O line, uh, Ben and, and Dennis and Roger, uh, not sure when the last time any of these guys uh, have had a you know a full practice week, or uh, certainly all three of them have had a full practice week together. Uh, how impressive is it to uh, to you that these guys are kind of still? you know, seemingly playing through, uh, you know, injuries and so forth. And, and, uh, you know, what, what, what do you learn, uh, from, from them in that respect? Yeah, it's, you know, we got, we got some tough guys on the line. Um, guys that play a lot of football, a lot of talented guys, very smart. And at the end of the day, they're grinders, um, banged up, showing up on Sunday, you know, rain, snow, shine, whatever, uh, show up ready to go. You know, it's, Excited to be a part of this group just because, you know, I, I know their standard and I want to uh, live up to that and, and not let them down. Thank you. Uh, Terry. David, this team on offense has seemingly been at its best when you've been able to start fast and establish the run game with Derek in the offensive line pretty early. How important to kind of get back to that and establish that rhythm and that momentum in the first quarter this week? Uh, yeah, it's it's very important. It's um, it's something that we're uh, we're working on. We want to start fast and we want to finish strong. That's kind of uh, our mantra here, and it's something that we're looking to go execute on Sunday. Uh, Jim and David, I did a quick Google search. So, so you you uh, at San Jose State faced Wisconsin in 2010. Is that right? When you faced Watt? Right. What what are your memories from? that game and facing him and just 
how crazy is it maybe how both of your careers have evolved from that point? Um, I remember uh, him just making a very unique sound when he rushes the passer. I, I've never heard that sound like that before. And then I heard it again when I was you know, playing down there in Houston against him. You know, he was on defense. And uh, I just remember him being a super talented guy, you know, extremely hard worker. And yeah, it's one of my good instincts. You really have to bring your best when you're playing. What kind of sound is it? Uh, hard to describe. No, it's a, it's a JJ sound. <laughs> uh, Corey? Uh, David, you guys only had the ball once in the first quarter up at Green Bay. Uh, what does the offense need to do to, to campaign if you win the coin toss to take the football in this thing? Um, uh, you know, that's 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 a decision that, that's out of my hands. That, that's left for uh, the guys that do make those decisions. You know, I just I just line up and uh, do my best to execute the play that's called my assignment on the play called. All right, I think that's a wrap. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time.